Welcome back everybody, Room with Texas All Water Fishing. And today's fishing report takes place at Seawolf Park. I went fishing yesterday. I did a open invite to my Patreon. You know, we are very close to the flounder run. We're supposed to have a little, we had a little bit of a light front. It really didn't drop, temp, drop temperatures. Actually, it's pretty, pretty humid and pretty warm this morning. But we're gonna hit out anyway. I'm just getting ready to get on the road. I'm gonna head over to Seawolf Park. I toss an open invite for my Patreons in. And I had a Patreon that, that replied and said, you know what, I will meet you out there. Even though it's the middle of the week, I will meet you out there anyway. But I'm gonna get on the wall, I'm gonna get on, my, I'm gonna, I'm going to get on the road, then I'm going to get on the water. I'm going to be wade fishing around Sewa Park. I'm going to be fishing with some gope. So if you haven't subscribed, I don't know why I keep saying this, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. There's quite a lot of viewers that haven't subbed yet. So hit subscribe, push the bell notification, like the video, leave a comment, share the video, all that wonderful stuff. It really helps out the channel quite a lot. And uh, I'm going to get on the road and get going. All right, so I keep seeing lightning like over here behind me, off to my left, and I just looked I just looked at the radar and man, it looks like, look like when you get that band. When I left the house or this morning, uh, just a little while ago, it didn't look like any rain was was gonna come and all of a sudden now we have a big old pop up shower and it's gonna just grow and grow. It's kind of like towards the front of my truck, but it's just gonna grow and grow and grow and we're going to get hammered. I hope that's not the case, man, but you know what? Hey, it's fishing, right? Um, lightning is not good when you're, especially when you're in the water. So I'm going to check the radar again and then we're going to, we're going to check. I'm, I don't know. See if maybe we get a few casts in before it comes this far. So thank you very much for coming out. I always have fun mixing it up with all the guys and gals on my Patreon page. We went out and Wade Fish Sewa Park really wanting to do a scouting trip. It's kind of early. In the season, we haven't had a real cold front come in yet, so we're kind of waiting on that on that to take place. Hopefully, we'll have that next week. So, I wanted to go out, uh, give me the opportunity to fish with a patron and go out and just kind of see what's going on out there. Rock structures, soft mud, see if I find any flounder prints or really any flounder I, I, the resident flounder are kind of active right now so i was just hoping to see and, and get into those guys now if you're not familiar with Seawood park here's houston here's galveston and there is the island of pelicans pelican island Seawood park is right here little peninsula on the edge of pelican island if you're not familiar with it, there's their address. Now, keep in mind, Seawood Park is an extremely popular fishing spot. People like to fish all along these rocks. There's a pier. You have this side of Seawood Park all along these rocks. You have this side of Seawood Park along the sidewalk and this edge as well. Now, we didn't fish in Seawolf Park, but like I said, keep in mind it's a very popular spot if you do decide to fish and want to come out and fish for flounder along these rocks or any of the area. Just be well aware that you're going to meet some of your closest best friends you never had. Maybe about 15 or 20 people. Uh, there is no personal space at Seawolf Park during the flounder run. Just keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons why I do like to wade fish. Now, yesterday we came out and we wade fish this shoreline over here. Very early on, we started filling a lot of the flounder prints. Flounder get down and bed down a little bit, and and they'll make those prints. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is a big hole right here. Holy crap, dude! I can put both my feet in it. Where's that guy at? <laughs> Look, I haven't stepped down. Look, look how much I stepped down. Watch. 
could you tell? It, it's probably like an inch and a half. It's like, it, look, look. That's my foot in it. That's my foot out. So, with that in mind, I'm thinking, okay, they're, the flounder are active. They're moving around. Uh, a lot of times they'll come more shallow overnight. And we got there just around sunrise. And we're fishing with gulp. Uh... There, um, Darwin is throwing a tandem gulp and I'm throwing a single jig head gulp. He caught an undersized flounder right off the bat. I hooked into a real nice flounder. Unfortunately, it was kind of swimming away. And when I want to go set that hook, it, it just pulled right out of his mouth. Eh? Running with it. Oh! Oh! Ah, he came off. Oh my gosh. He was running with it. Ah. Whenever, whenever they run with it, they're so they're swimming. It's so hard to hook set. That's why I started running. I started scooting up with them so I could get that hook set. God, he just pulled right out of his mouth. Oh my God! Uh, that would that you did say cast this way. I, I I'm giving this my guide right here. That's my guide right here. He's my guide today. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Oh when flounder hold down and you get that nice hook set to penetrate their jawbone that's what you want to occur a lot of times they'll pick up the lure and they'll take off swimming and when that happens unfortunately you can't get that good hook set that you need and and that's the case we did fish for a little while in the morning before the storms rolled through we had a nice big uh a nice big band of rain a lot of lightning heavy rain so we took a quick time out, ran over, grabbed something to eat. We came right back to the island. When we came back and returned, we fished this area over here, and it was completely and totally dead. We did have, uh, we did find a few prints. We see any prints in here? Nope. I don't see any. No prints. Here's one right here too. There's one right here, right here. A little print. There's a good one right here. That's a good one. That one right there. It's very soft mud. And then we crossed back over here and then came back over here and fished along the rocks. We fished this area as well. And we came along the rocks. And in this area, I believe is where Dormwin got his second flounder of the day. They were both small, little, cute guys. And then I finally ended up landing a little guy. So I got that little bit of the skunk off me. It's a potato. It's a chipper. Chippy! Chips ahoy! Ooh, put that on the stringer. Hell oh, yeah. Here, let me see. Hold up the chipper. Hold him up loud and proud. Loud and proud. <laughs> Hold on. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see that hook set? Hey, look at that. Not a skunk. Look at it. Look at it. See how he's, he's muddy on bottom? He's been laying in the mud all morning. There it is. Pig pen right here. He came off. Little pig pen. It was very slow. We didn't make it all the way down and and cover as much area as we wanted to because we did. Like I said, we did take a timeout. Uh, we fished to about 1:30 and we got there just around sunrise. Keep in mind, mosquitoes, very very bad. So you literally run from your vehicle to the water because the mosquitoes are awful. But we did. We threw white. Uh, he had his luck with Penny, and we're fishing with Gope and, and uh, Swim swim Mullet Gope. Uh, I caught mine. I had my first hit on Root Beer with a Chartreuse Tail. Actually, I think I caught them both on, the, on that color, or had the hit on that color. But, you know, it's just real slow. The water is it's warm. It's in the 70s still. Uh, we're just waiting for that that cold front, like I said. Talked to a couple of the people, and they fished there early week, and then they were back fishing again, and just not very fishy as far as the numbers go or the size goes. 
we're a little ahead of the curve but like i said i wanted to go out i want to get the lay of the land see if there's any rocks any structure what's submerged what's the ground feel like where's the real soft mud at where's the real firm mud at mud at if there's any dips or holes somewhere that i can fish around where it's going to bring in the flounder because flounder like to come in and bump their nose against structure that's why you find them around structure they're kind of an ambush predator so a little ahead of the curve but i just wanted to give everybody a fish report in case you are going out this weekend and that flatty daddy tournament is going out going on this weekend and next week hopefully we will have that cold front come through and that's going to trigger the first bite don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and if this is what you like and you like this kind of content you want the fishing reports you want the feedback you want to see where i fished then join patreon today Almost every time I go fishing, I make sure that I put a fishing report out for my patrons as it happened. I try to do it the very next day, if not the same day, just so I can give the guys and girls on there a heads up. What is going on in the water? What are the conditions looking like? And where I am having success at. But thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up.